Hello uh, YouTube, this is Ham Radio Reviews doing another video today uh, on the you should already know by now Baofeng DM5R uh, the first uh, DMR uh, radio from uh, Baofeng uh, uh, dual band and uh, everything of course except for the fact that it does not support two time slots uh, it basically occupies both time slots so uh, this radio you cannot use it uh, to access DMR repeaters uh, in fact if you use it you will um, annoy uh, other people and you will probably get banned okay let's get that out of the way because I get a lot of comments uh, on this uh, radio uh, for the fact that it cannot um, it does not support uh, two time slots other than that it's a pretty nice little radio uh, it communicates uh, with uh, other uh, DMR radios for example here the Ritevis uh, RT3 and the other <laughs> radio that does not support um, dual time slots at uh, two time slots the MD398 but anyway, uh, this is not the reason I'm doing this video for. I'm doing this video, this video, uh, to inform you about something. All the DMR radios, at least uh, the DMR radios I have here, which are uh, these three models for now, uh, support uh, are uh, basically the DMR system is uh, was primarily uh, 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 was primarily invented, I should say for commercial uh, applications uh, for workers working maybe in uh, buildings in mines and things like that uh, with supervisors being able to group uh, their um, the employees according to uh, their stations and uh, everything um, for uh, for that reason they have incorpor incorporated uh, um, some um, functions which allow uh, a person uh, uh, with one uh, DMR radio having control over the radios of uh, other users for example you can check if uh, the radio is uh, a single radio is uh, responding is within range you can check um, uh, but also yes uh, but also uh, you can um, send a command from one radio to the other and the other radio will start transmitting um, exactly what uh, you just heard I can send the command from this radio and this radio will start transmitting uh, remotely okay uh, and also you can disable one radio from the other radio I can use this radio to disable this radio and of course again I can enable this radio from this radio I will uh, show all these how these things are done I will prepare another video on this uh, show, showing how you can do these things you can how you can configure these things from the software however this video is specifically for the uh, Baofeng because um, on the Baofeng you cannot adjust these settings you cannot disable this functionality at least I haven't found a way to do it uh, what that means is that uh, wh whoever uh, communicates with you with a uh, DMR simplex okay on DMR simplex uh, communication has the ability to disable your radio or has the ability to uh, give a command to your radio to so that it starts transmitting okay uh, I will show you how this is done right now this radio the RITV 3 and the TYT MD380 and 390 have the ability to uh, you can disable these features so that it won't accept these commands okay uh, I have disabled these uh, features on this radio and who uh, if another radio sends these commands it will not um, uh, it will not uh, comply basically to these commands okay let me show you how how I can do this and uh, it but it's very important to take note that uh, you cannot disable these features on, on the Baofeng DM5R 
Not sure why. Also, uh, the Baofeng DM5R it cannot be used to control other radios. Um, it can be controlled. You have no other uh, way of disabling it. It can be controlled, but it cannot control other radios. So please be aware when you are using it, when you are using this radio. Uh, just for fun, for simplex communication or everything. Okay, uh, this is the purpose of this video. Okay, let me show you how this is done. Uh, of course, uh, for one radio to be able to control another radio, the transmitting radio needs to know the other radio's um, ID. It cannot be done um, in general, just send a command and all radios that are receiving will just be disabled. Okay. Uh, but of course you will know the ID of the other radio if you are uh, in communication with them. Let me transmit here. Okay, you see here. Here, okay. It's showing uh, my call sign because I have uh, added uh, a contact uh, for this radio. Of course they have the same ID but that's another issue. Okay, so now I know this is a contact. A contact. If I it wasn't saved as a contact here, I would it would just show me the ID, the number. Then I could use that number to create a contact here and start controlling this radio. Okay. Let's say that I have already done this, and let me show you how I can transmit. How I can make this radio transmit? from this radio remotely basically okay I, I'm going to contacts I have already saved the contact this can only be done through contacts on the RT3 at least or MD380 and the MD390 um, okay there we go this is here we go my call sign I have several options call alert and everything uh, I will um, do another video for this but let me go here radio check remote monitor there we go I'm not touching this radio right okay what's this radio here remote monitor and it's transmitting okay this is in it's showing that it's in remote monitor mode okay it's transmitting I haven't touched it let me touch it now so that I can dakimi dakimi as video rama makilo you see it's transmitting Uh, but also it works in a way on the buffering here it says failed it timed out for some reason but this is still transmitting you see uh, okay uh, there's no time limit um, let me you have to, to for it to stop transmitting it will either uh, deplete the battery here we go it will either uh, deplete the battery or um, uh, you have to press a button to cancel it. Okay. Um, so you should be aware of this. Uh, the system works in a way where uh, if you were to program a couple of uh, RT3s, for example, um, to use to utilize the monitor function, you have the option of um, 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 setting the time for which the other radio will start transmitting. Uh, for example, it will trans transmit for 10 seconds, and then it will shut off on its own, or if someone presses a button. There's no option for this here, so it, if you send a command, it just starts transmitting and it won't stop until the battery uh, um, until the battery charge is empty or until you press someone is there and press a button so you should be aware of this also we have the ability to disable this radio remotely if you see here it is on okay there we go radio is on I'm not touching the bow fang now let's go here contacts there we go Radio disable. Okay, not sure if you can see that. Radio disable. Let's send the command. There. It's off. Okay. The radio is off. Nothing. This is a feature for uh, if you have, uh, for example, 
if you lose uh, radio you can remotely disable it and things like that uh, but here okay if you turn back on nothing on the screen the radio is disabled you can enable it uh, either by um, the programming software or again remotely by going to the radio enable if it is on okay by going to the radio enable setting and here I'm not now I will send the enable command to the Baofeng I'm not touching the Baofeng what's here okay let's go through again there enable here now it's back on okay uh, now you should I th believe you should be aware of this if you're if you have the buffing DM5R uh, the, the, maybe there is some usage for you for ham radio for these features if you're using them for simplex communication I don't know maybe for fun but uh, the fact that you cannot disable these on the buffing or at least I haven't found a way to disable them um, if you find a way to disable them on the Baofeng, please let me know in the comments below, either on uh, um, the YouTube comments or on the post on hamradioreviews.eu website. Okay, I think you should be aware of this. Uh, um, I think this is a flaw. It should you should be able to disable these things on the radio. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you very much uh, for watching, don't forget to like this uh, video, subscribe to Ham Radio Reviews YouTube channel for more Ham Radio uh, Review videos and news and 7-3